So this time we have with us uh, Honorable uh, President of Senate, uh, Netherlands, or Jan Anthony Brusen. Uh, welcome, sir, to Sunset TV. And with us, uh, Ambassador of Netherlands, uh, Marisa Grenard. Welcome, ma'am, in Sunset TV. My first question to you, sir. Um, P20 summit in India has concluded. What are the key uh, takeaways you think? Well, for me, the key takeaways were, of course, the themes that were chosen by the leadership from India for this wonderfully organized P20 meeting in uh, Delhi. And we really enjoyed it. And we have discussed a number of issues. One of them is female participation in parliaments. Yes. I've learned that in India there is a constitutional uh, rule that at least 33% of parliaments have to be uh, taken, the seats by females. And that's really an example for us all because uh, equal representation is very important for keeping support among the general population yep. for us working in democracy. So that's one takeaway that I learned from the P20 in general and but also from your beautiful country in particular. The other takeaway is of course that all the countries that were here um, are all very busy with climate change. And the important thing of climate change is that if we want to leave this planet in a healthy way for our children and coming generations, mm -hmm. the only way to do that is by cooperating in an international way. Because if one country does not take part in this, then still the problem will not be solved. So those are just two examples of takeaways that I think uh, we all bring home. And uh, what do you think of this P20 forum, how it will address the challenges which the world is facing right now? I think it will address our challenges in a great way because under the leadership of the uh, speakers of your House and your Senate mm -hmm. and also uh, your Prime Minister was involved yesterday at this P20. I was honored to meet him. He is a very influential and inspirational leader. Um, and the way the leadership was taken up by India of this P20 mm -hmm. is an inspiration for all of us and, a, and an example. So we all take away the important messages to our own parliaments. Yes. Ma'am, uh, you just had bilateral with the Speaker Lok Sabha India. Uh, can you tell us about those issues uh, which you have discussed? Well, it was actually, of course, the President of our Senate who discussed with the Chair of your Parliament and they discussed uh, First of all, of course, the P20 and the outcome of the P20. And there were some issues that are important in our bilateral relationship. So we were discussing, for example, uh, agriculture and health and the importance of technology and innovation um, to do good to our own people. And I think there are lots of areas where we can cooperate together between our two countries. And me, as the ambassador, I just arrived two months ago. It's wonderful to be here at the P20 and meet so many important people. And I will follow up on all these different points that were discussed today. And which are the areas in which uh, India and Netherlands will uh, support each other? Yes, I think we have a very strong relationship in a few economic sectors like agriculture, like water, like health, for example. And through these three sectors, innovation and, um, uh, and technology are very important cross-sectoral sectors. But I think that we're also looking at new issues that are of great importance, like, for example, cyber and space and semicon and critical uh, minerals or uh, clean energy or uh, climate finance. These are also issues that we work on together uh, uh, with your uh, with the Indian counterpart. Yes. And uh, my next question is to you, sir. How did you find the India, its culture, its diversity? How did you find in P20? Basically, I'm talking about the India. Yes. Well, India is an impressive country. I arrived here in the middle of the night, at three o'clock in the night, and uh, I was immediately greeted by a famous actor and by a beautiful dance group and music group. Uh, who were there to show us the uh, the culture of India, the richness, mm -hmm. but also walking in the streets here and meeting the warm people who are so generous and are so open and are so educated uh, and so culturally rich, also with the history of India, of course. So it was also in that sense a very impressive P20. Thank you so much, sir, and thank you so much, ma'am, for talking with us. Uh, this is Amrita Chaurasia with the cameraman Avinash for Sensor TV.